Eastern View High School basketball. Good evening, everybody. Donnie Johnston, Gary Deal. We are at James Monroe High School where the third seed James Monroe Yellow Jackets meet the fourth seed Eastern View Cyclones for the Battlefield District Tournament Championship. Good crowd here tonight, Gary. A couple of good teams, and uh, this should be a great ball game. Uh, I'm excited, Donnie. This is a place to be tonight. Uh, the place is jam-packed. Could not find a parking place when I pulled in here 45 minutes early, mainly probably because of the girls' game, too. But this is the place to be tonight. Well, James Monroe comes in with a record of 18 wins and five losses. They are 12-3 and three in the Battlefield District. Eastern View, uh, 15 and 7 on the year, 10 and 5 in the Battlefield District. These two teams have met twice. JM came out on top both times by three and five points. So uh, and, and they get another advantage by playing home tonight. Yeah, Eastern View's got their hands full tonight. Uh, I think they can can play well and win tonight. They have looked impressive the last couple games. We covered them uh, against Caroline uh, last week. They look good. Uh, Will Butler played really well. Uh, uh, Amare Robinson had 41 points that night, so they have improved, and I look for them to play well tonight. Well, Josh Seawador was out the other night because of uh, sickness, but he's back tonight, so that's an added advantage for the uh, Eastern View Cyclones as they get ready for regional tournament action next week. They play on Monday, and we, if you'll check with uh, Channel 21, Culpeper Media Network, we'll keep you informed on who they play and when and all that kind of stuff. But right now, we've got James Monroe and Eastern View. Everybody looks good. The kids you gotta watch for James Monroe, Mikhail Miner. Freshman averaging 24 points a game. Yes, and I talked to uh, Patrick Thornhill, the coach, before uh, we came on set tonight, and I was asking him, how are you gonna stop Minor? And he said that they had some ideas, and I mentioned uh, boxing one, and uh, Coach Thornhill spoke up and said, well, we have a variation of that. So I'm looking for them to focus on Minor, but you can't only think about Minor, you gotta think about Edwards too. Edwards is a good player. He had 15 or 17 points uh, the last time I saw them play, and uh, he's, he's a heck of a shooter, so you gotta watch him as well. Well, you don't win 18 ball games unless you got a good supporting cast. Exactly. Minor has been the key. Now in the first game, uh, the girls championship game, Chancellor, oh my goodness, what a buzzsaw they were. They beat James Monroe by a score of 79 to 42, and it could have been a lot worse. Chancellor ends up 16 and 0 in the region, and uh, they are 22 and 2 on the season. So James and Rowe didn't get the first game. Maybe they won't get the second game. Well, let's hope not. Pull right. for EV all the way, Donnie. We'll be back in just a moment with the start of tonight's ball game. <laughs> Eastern View taking on James Monroe for the Battlefield District Championship. And you'll be watching it on the Culpepper Media Network. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Found in Sons Funeral Home, Culpepper's perpetual best of the best for resources, planning, and support for our entire community. Localsportshistory.com wants your 2023 annual nominations for Coach of the Year, Player of the Year, and Hall of Fame. Visit Localsportshistory.com to submit your choices. Battlefield Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford, proudly serving the Culpeper community for over 20 years. State-of-the-art service departments and over 22 acres with hundreds of new and pre-owned vehicles. Battlefield Automotive, searching for a promising career, trained to be a certified, always-in-demand machinist at New Pathways Tech located at the Carver Center on Route 15. Take a new pathway to success at newpathwaystech.com. From James Monroe High School, Donna Johnson along with Gary Deal, and we are set to bring you the Battlefield District Championship game tonight. 
between the Culp and the Eastern View Cyclones. So used to saying Culpepper and James Monroe right. over the years. The Eastern View Cyclones and the James Monroe Yellow Jackets. Going to be a good one, Deal. Yeah, I agree, Donnie. And, and you think about Culpepper because Billy Thornhill's in the house, and he just came by and talked to us. So that's why I think Culpepper's on your mind. But Eastern View is is here tonight, and they're, they're going to be ready to play, I believe. Well, Eastern View comes in with a record of uh, 15 and 7. James Monroe, 18 and 5. Third meeting of these two teams this year. James Monroe's come out on top both times, but both were close games. Introducing the starting five tonight, uh, starting out with uh, Will Butler being introduced for uh, Eastern View, and Jace Clancy is after him. And we got Amari Robinson, who had 41 points the other night uh, against Caroline. Then we got Cam Roy. And then we got Josh Sewador. I did again. We got to watch for James Monroe, the freshman, Mikhail Miner, averaging about 24 points a game. He's going to be tough to stop. And you said the magic word, Donnie, a freshman. Uh, that's very impressive. I mean, I've seen him play a couple times. He's a good basketball player, and uh, Eastern View's got their work cut out for them tonight to stop him. But I think James Monroe's going to have to stop Mari Robinson, too. So uh, for. Uh, James Monroe tonight, we got uh, Deshaun Robinson starting. We got Timothy Ford. We got Michael Edwards. We got Jeremiah Branson, number 12. And the superstar freshman, Mikael Miner. You know, you were talking earlier to, uh, before we went on the air, Gary, that um, one of the keys you think, and I think too, keys to this ball game is Will Butler. Yeah, I think he is the key tonight. He's playing uh, somewhat like Malik Brown, uh, Bowles. I Brown. mean, uh, Brown, Malik uh, Brown uh, for Syracuse. And I think probably a lot of people saw what Malik did last night and how he's been playing with Syracuse. Well, Will Butler's playing the same type, type role with Eastern View. You know, you're playing that Draymond Green role. You're playing that Dennis Rodman role. And if he can come out with 12, 10, and 7 assists, I think Eastern View is going to have a chance to win this basketball game tonight. Jeremiah Branson will jump for JM against Will Butler. And tap goes out of bounds, and it will be long too. I think it's going to belong to James Monroe. I think he pointed the wrong way. Uh, he made a mistake on that call, Donnie. I don't even think Will Butler touched the ball. But anyway, doesn't, doesn't matter. They get the ball in the second period. Miner brings the ball down. Turns and fires up a three. No good. Rebound comes down J.M. Scramble, loose ball. And Amari Robinson comes up over to Suidor. Robinson for three. Nope. Both teams a little, little cold here in the early going. Yeah, we got it. Uh, Eastern View has got to uh, attack the the, uh, the boards on the defensive end. You can't allow JM to get two or three shots at the basket. Well, they didn't even won that time as T Ford got a three pointer. And JM takes the early lead. James Monroe is a good outside and shooting team, so you can't leave. You got to extend the defense and don't give him them three, three pointers up. Seawador, no. Rebound, Miner leads it ahead. Nice play there by Seawador. Good rebound by Will Butler. And the other way, Seawador puts it in. And a turnover. I think I think it's important tonight, Donnie, for Eastern View to get off to a good start and get up, uh, you know, four, five, six, eight points in the game and not have to play, uh, you know, from the rear tonight. Robinson in the quarter. 
Simidor working right side. Amari Robinson, ball was tapped, so it's not a backcourt violation. Robinson turns and fires, front iron again. He's a little short on both those shots. Three-pointer outside. Michael Edwards. Another wide open three. Uh, Eastern View cannot give those shots up. Got to play defense on the perimeter. And nice play there by Clam uh, Clancy, who uh, came in and picked up the loose ball. Cimador outside. Clancy will take a three. No. From the corner, three-point shot is no good. Cam Roy. Not a lot of scoring so far. 6-2, James Monroe leading Eastern View. 5-10 to go or 5-15 to go, first period. Roy, nope. And over the top, we'll turn over to James Monroe. I'd like to see... Uh, Chase uh, used that backboard on that shot there. It's a much easier shot banking that ball in from that angle. Minor the freshman puts in two. He does not look like a freshman. He, and he doesn't play like a freshman. Robinson stops, double team, gets it over. Clancy has a little opening there. Uh, Couldn't get the ball to drop, but drew the foul. Well, when we uh, watched Caroline the other night, Amari couldn't miss the first part of the game. I think he was five for six from three-point line early part of the game. Um, tonight, he's missed his first two. Let's see how he adjusts. See what or. Down the lane, nope. Got his own rebound and is fouled by Michael Edwards. And Edwards, a uh, little upset with that foul and I can understand it. Didn't look like he touched him to me. <coughs> Seawinar will go to the line. Josh will have a pair. And the first one. Rattles out. Josh Cimador, second shot is up and missed them both. Not a good start for Eastern View tonight. Uh, hopefully it's going to get better. Got to play good, steady defense here. Robinson missed it. Bottle of the rebound. Robinson tries to get around minor camp. And Butler throws it away. Well, I think J James Monroe is, is small. And I, I don't know if they're going small, uh, thinking it's going to be better strategy against Eastern View, but they are small out there. And I'd, I would try to get Will Butler down low and let him go to work and see if he can get some easy shots down low. I agree. Miner goes in and he is fouled by, I think, Butler. <laughs> 355 left of the first period and uh, eight to two JM. Four minutes have elapsed, plus uh, five seconds, and JM has only eight points, but Eastern View has only two. Miner makes the first. Second shot is good. 10 to JM. I don't like to see this, Donnie, uh, them getting this far behind and trying to play catch up all game. It's, it's not a good start. They need to try to work the ball down low against a small team, even if they go to Jace Clancy. Well, they're not doing it intentionally, I promise you. Ball bounced off, uh, I think it was Robinson's head there out of bounds. Robinson for JM. 
Amari will throw it in, gets it outside to Clancy. They're taking Butler out of the game and put Hall in. See what R for two. Well, Butler's been a non-factor so far. He got one rebound, and that's about the extent of it. Yeah, he had two rebounds, two good rebounds, but I wouldn't give up on him. And Robinson, uh, no, let's say they charged a foul on Mikhail Miner. Offensive foul. His first of the night. Backcourt pressure now by J.M. Eastern View breaks it, no problem. Robinson. Seawador kicks it back out. Seawador. Found an opening there, couldn't get it to drop. Oh, had it, lost it. And Miner comes down with it. Can't dribble that ball in the lane like that with three or four people around. Miner, long three. Nope. Clancy. Uh, Cam Roy couldn't hit it. Robinson. Uh, he's off the front iron. That's three shots from outside. He's been short on all of them. And foul. No, he touched the line. He stepped on the line. So a turnover. Easterview has been getting some breaks here, but they can't capitalize on them in the early going. Yeah, they're not uh, sinking those open shots, and that's they need to start sinking, sinking some of those open shots, and uh, I don't think they want to get it into an up-and-down running game against uh, James Monroe, not with the five they have on the floor. So uh, I think they need to be patient on offense. Clancy kicks it back out. Patient on this possession. Three-pointer from outside, but Robinson will not go. Here's Miner for J.M. And a foul's going to be called on Seawidor. I think uh, Robinson, uh, that's why maybe Coach Thornhill's taking him out. He, it looks like he's pressing a little bit tonight. Uh, he's anxious. Um, Maybe not squaring up quite as well and, and releasing the ball like he was the other night against Caroline. Um, I look for him to come back, though, and, and, and play well the rest of the game. Minute 45 to go in the first period, and two points by Sean Davis. That is 12 for eight-point lead for J.M. Clancy makes a move. Nice little teardrop there. 12-6. And a three-pointer on the outside. For James Monroe, T. Ford. Seawador. He found another little opening, but that's three times he's gone in there and come out with no points. And J.M. had the basketball, but stepping on the line was T. Ford, so it will be Eastern View ball. But now Butler, well, I thought he was coming back into the ball game. Adrian Hull, number one, is in, and now Butler comes back in, so now we got a little more height in there. Clancy goes out for a rest. Butler, Ho, Seawador, now Robinson. James Monroe puts a lot of pressure on you in that man-to-man -man defense, and that's causing Eastern View to press a little bit, and they're speeding them up more than they want to be. And there's a steal right there. Miner comes up with it. And Miner is fouled. I'd like to uh, see some picks and some screens uh, to get some of that pressure off of our Eastern View players. Uh, I think Hall has got a great body to set up a, a pick with. Um, I'd, I'd be 
picking some at least at the uh, elbows or at top of the key to try to get some uh, spacing uh, on offense. Well, JM is a really quick team, and Easterview has a taller team out there now that does not have as much quickness. And when you start shooting three-pointers like that, makes it tough. Alex, uh, rather Michael Edwards. Robinson for three. Nope. Clancy tries to force it back up. Does. No. Ho. And foul is going to be called. 18 to 6. All of a sudden, JM pulling out a little bit. 1.7 seconds left in the first quarter. Championship game between JM and Eastern View. Battlefield District title on the line. Hall at the line. Got it. 18 to 7. One out of two. And that's the end of the first quarter as James corrals the rebound. First quarter is over. James Monroe leading Eastern View 18 to seven. And we'll be back with the second quarter here on the Culpepper Media Network in one minute. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Found in Sun's Funeral Home, Culpepper's perpetual best of the best for resources, planning, and support for our entire community. Localsportshistory.com wants your 2023 annual nominations for Coach of the Year, Player of the Year, and Hall of Fame. Visit Localsportshistory.com to submit your choices. Battlefield Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford, proudly serving the Culpepper community for over 20 years. State-of-the-art service departments and over 22 acres with hundreds of new and pre-owned vehicles. Battlefield Automotive, searching for a promising career, trained to be a certified, always in demand machinist at New Pathways Tech, located at the Carver Center on Route 15. Take a new pathway to success at newpathwaystech.com. 18 to 7, our score, JM leading Eastern View, Gary, at uh, all JM in that first half, the first quarter. Yeah, I'm. Um JM is hitting shots, and uh, Eastern View defense, defensive players are just a little late getting there um, on the catch, uh, and they're allowing those open shots, and Eastern View's had open shots, and they're not hitting them. So it goes back to your old adage, John, uh, Donnie, is, you know, ball's got to go through the hoop. So, yep, uh, team with the most points is probably going to win. Yes, exactly. Clancy, and he travels. Baseline drive, loose ball, picked up by JM, and the uh, foul is going to be called. We'll send Michael Edwards to the line. I'm not sure they're going to the line, but I was thinking that was, uh, ah, they're over the five team fouls. Okay, because that was not a shooting foul. And... Robinson misses the first. He'll have a second. All right, so Jace Clancy's back in the game. So you got a good start and five in there now. It's very important in this next three or four minutes for each of you to play good, play play a good sound game, hit some shots, and get back in this game because well, they need some stops. Need some stops, but they need some scoring too. That's and a good start. Robinson puts it in. 19 to 9, back to within 10. Now they need to cut this thing down into single digits. I just one at a time, but they need to stop here. Coach Thornhill's defending the three-point line now. I like that. Don't let them have any three-pointers. If you give it, if you give up two, okay, but not three points every time. Nice play there by Hall. He had the ball. 
Robinson finally comes down with it. Foul from behind by Michael Edwards. I like how Coach Thornhill has adjusted. you got to protect that three-point line. You can't. With those shooters that JM has, you can't allow them to have open shots. So you extend your defense, and if they make two points inside, inside in the lane, so be it. Robinson outside. Butler played way out here for a tall guy, and uh, you know, you I'm like you. I would think you want to get him down a little lower. Robinson. Clears out, puts it up, no good. Rebound comes down to Miner for JM. And there goes Miner, and he is going to be charged with an offensive foul. And if I'm correct, that's his second. I think and you're correct, Donnie. He's going to the bench. With 6.16 to go in the second period, 24-point average is sitting on the bench. And now we'll see if Culpepper or Easterview can uh, make up some ground. And there goes Robinson. Nope. Hull missed it. Hull was lucky he didn't get charged with a foul right there. That's another easy inside shot that they've missed. They missed about three of those. Nice block there by Butler. And a garbage basket by Deshaun Robinson. At the right place at the right time. Butler. Wheels puts uh, it up, Ken. We just cannot get those easy shots down low. Yep, can't finish. Robinson, cross court. T Ford. And with 519 to go, Billy our Patrick Thornhill wants to talk it over. Timeout for 30 seconds on the Culpeper Media Network. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. Found in Sons, 825-7556. 3530. Localsportshistory.com. Learn more at info at localsportshistory.com. Battlefield Automotive, 547 3673. New Pathways Career and Technical Education, 423 2134. Eastern View on the verge of getting left to the dust here in this early in this second period, 24 to 9, trailing James Monroe. All JM so far. Yeah, that's what happens when you shoot probably 0 for 8 from three-point range and you miss 70% of your uh, shots under the basket that roll around the rim and come out. Nice move there by Robinson. Assist to Butler. You know, those inside shots, we say it all the time, you got to finish. Yes. you got to hold that ball and look at that basket and concentrate. T. Ford has it stripped away by Cimador. And Cimador is going to be called with a foul. Mikael Miner with his 24-point average sitting on a bench with two fouls. Wide T open shot again. T Ford missed that. And uh, Easton, you almost walked with that two players fighting over the ball, <laughs> and now they threw it away. So far, it's been a comedy of errors for Easton. They just can't get anything going. I think James Monroe is... is it's speeded them up a little bit, uh, and, and they're pressing. Nice attempt there by Hull to try to get that ball. Ford brings it across. Double team. 
And Robinson forced to turn over. I like to see him uh, post up uh, Will, Will Butler or hole, hole down low and try to get the ball into him because I don't think there's anybody on JM that can stop those two. Uh, but you can't do it if they don't post him up down low and, and attempt it and, and just try it. I would think that Butler looks head and shoulders above everybody, and that was a nice play there by Seaman who are taking the baseline. 24-13. Down to 11. Three-point shot will not go, but J.M. gets the rebound. Got to get them defensive rebounds, Donnie. And Robinson has the ball stripped away uh, by Amari Robinson, and then Jane gets it right back. Nice move under. Good defense by Eastern View under there that time. See what or. And he is fouled. They're taking it to the Seminole, especially taking it to the basket now. He's going to get the layup or he's going to get fouled. And I like that, Donnie, because the, the, the three-point shots are not falling right now. And uh, Josh is taking it to the basket, and he's doing uh, what he needs to do to get to the hoop and try to get Eastern View some points. Well, I'm like you. I want to see Butler do his thing down there. And you got to make those free throws. Uh, Easter View, I think, is 0 for 3 and for the free throw line. It looks like Easter View is not, hasn't come ready to really play tonight. Play confident and relaxed. I think they're pressing, and uh, you can see it on the court. Jackets working the ball around. Three pointer from outside is good by Tafari Potus. Another wide open shot. 27 to 14. 13 point lead for JM. Robinson. And there's Butler. Let's see what he can do. And he didn't take the shot. He has a height advantage there. And get it down. You got to get it down the hall right there. He's got position. They won't look down low. Seawador dumps it off to Hull, and Hull puts it in. A.P. Hull. That's all day, Don. If they go to him, he's, he's got so much more size than anybody with J.M. They and need to look down low. Well, Butler has the same opportunity. Yes. T4, distant. Hull the rebound. Oh, tried to do a little too much there. Robinson can't get it to go. Butler. Cam Roy. Yeah, Cam, Cam came in there. He was a little off balance on that shot. And uh, I think he realizes it now and probably should have kept his dribble alive and maybe pulled it back out and, and took his time a little bit more. But he's learning. All right. We got time out on the floor. 140 left. We'll break for 30 seconds. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. Found and Sons, 825-3530. Localsportshistory.com. Learn more at info at localsportshistory.com. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. New Pathways Career and Technical Education, 423-2134. James Monroe on top, 27 to 18. Jackets have led the entire way. Eastern View, uh, Gary Deal is a little lucky that they're not down by more points than this. They missed a lot of good shots. Yeah, Donnie, they're still in the game. They're, they're playing about as bad as I think they can play and as bad as I've seen them play all year. 
as far as uh, not in control and making a lot of errors and missing shots. But they're still in the game, only down by nine points uh, with a whole half to go. It would be nice to finish uh, this half strong and get it within five or six. Well, we always say that first three or four minutes of the third quarter is a very, very crucial time in a basketball game. We'll see. But you're right. Good try. Nice play there by Clancy. And a foul under on Butler. Good attempt at a block. James Rowe at the free throw line. And the first shot, no good. Jeremiah Branson. He started the ball game, but he's been relatively quiet tonight. Yeah, James Rowe just hitting a lot of shots. Missed them both. Clancy. Trying to look low. He got a hole down there. They won't look down low at him. They need to get it to him. A little bounce pass in there would kind of get that going. Clancy for three. No. Uh, a lot of his range. Yeah. Jason rushes it a little bit. He's he's uh, He's got a good shot. He just rushes it. So. Ooh. Good defense. Oh. Uh, and that was a disaster for the... From the very beginning, three seconds, one. First half comes to an end with a score. The James Monroe Yellow Jackets, 30. Eastern View Cyclones, 21. We'll be back with our second half in just a few moments on the Culpepper Media Network. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Found in Sun's Funeral Home, Culpepper's perpetual best of the best for resources, planning, and support for our entire community. Localsportshistory.com wants your 2023 annual nominations for Coach of the Year, Player of the Year, and Hall of Fame. Visit Localsportshistory.com to submit your choices. Battlefield Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford. Proudly serving the Culpeper community for over 20 years. State-of-the-art service departments and over 22 acres with hundreds of new and pre-owned vehicles. Battlefield Automotive. Searching for a promising career? Trained to be a certified, always in demand, machinist at New Pathways Tech. Located at the Carver Center on Route 15. Take a new pathway to success at newpathwaystech.com. All right, we are back at halftime here at the uh, Jason Rowe High School Gymnasium, Eastern View, trailing 30 to 19 to the Jason Rowe Yellow Jackets for the championship of the Battlefield District. Quickly, Gary Deal, would you run down the stats in the first half for us? Yeah, um, as far as James Monroe, they had uh, some some combined scoring by four four or five people, and uh, Timothy Ford led them with nine points. And Josh Sewardor uh, led Eastern View with 10. Um, other than that, everything was pretty quiet with uh, Eastern View and missed a lot of shots. And uh, that's why we are in a nine-point game with the uh, Jackets, James and Rowe up by nine. And uh, Mikhail Miner, uh, who's 24-point average, only has four points. And he sat most of the second period with four fouls. On the other side, Amari Robinson only has two. Yes. We're just about set for uh, to get this game going. we got a guest going to sit in and take your place for a little while, Gary. Uh, fella that uh, a lot of Culpepper people remember for a long time. Sit down here, buddy. <laughs> Billy Thornhill. Billy, come down to see Patrick tonight and... Um, Game's not going that way right now. No, they can't buy a basket. You know, James Monroe's shooting the ball really well. They have all year. That's a big difference in the game tonight. It's just East of you just can't, can't find the basket. Well, when, you know, you think of James Monroe, and I go back to the years when you played, 
I mean, we've had some great, great basketball games down here. Oh, yeah. Any particular game stands out in your mind? Well, not really. Probably on a uh, losing end when they had Hoagie Garnett and Clarence Self and all those guys, and they came to Culpeper and I think scored 110 points on us. And, of course, in high school back in those days, 100 points was a lot. It's not so much now. And I think that's what got us all fired up, ready to go through the rest of the years because we didn't want to take a beating like that. So we picked it up and we got better. All right, Mikhail Miner puts in two for James Monroe and uh, the other direction. Robinson, no. Rebound comes out. JM is controlling the offensive boards right now. Yeah. That's three shots, and that's four shots, and finally on the fourth shot, Michael Edwards puts it in. You can't give him that much, Billy. No, you can't, and everything's going right right now for James Monroe and not for Easton do. so we're hoping here in a few minutes maybe we can turn a few things over. I think if we can get it close to 10 by the fourth quarter, we may have a chance. Well, you got to be proud of Patrick. He's done a good job over here at Easton View. Oh, yes, I am. Tickled to death. And I told him the other day, I think he was a better coach than I was because a lot of the adjustments and things that he has to make, a lot goes into it, and I just think he does a great job. Of course, I'm a little biased. Hey, you did a great job. I'll, I'll, I'll have to give it to you. And I remember the one thing I remember about your coaching, or anything else, we get out to three seconds left in the in the half of the, and you call timeout. I tell you, why in the world are you calling timeout, Thornhill? Why in a timeout? No sense of wasting it. Well, I don't know either. That doesn't sound <laughs> right. Doesn't sound right. But if you say so, Donnie, you the man. Well, I don't know about that, but Cam Ford puts one in. 34 to 23. But there had to be a reason for me to do that. I just wouldn't do it to do it. I don't know. Well, it makes a good story anyway. It does make a good story, but luckily I can't remember why I would call a timeout with three seconds to go. I don't know, but I've seen you do it. <laughs> anyway, tell us, you're living in Richmond now. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing these days. Absolutely nothing. Well, that's a good thing to do. Or as little as possible. No, I, I, uh, I, I like to golf and just kind of be to myself, work on the house and work in the yard and all that kind of stuff. I'm not doing anything really exciting. I'm probably living a boring, boring life right now, but I enjoy it. Well, good. So, um, and the kids I, do, all the kids doing well. Yeah, the kids are down there. Uh, of course, Patrick and Aiden are up this way. And we get together a lot and play golf and do a lot of good, fun things and stuff like that. But to most people, it would probably just be a boring afternoon or something. But I enjoy it. They enjoy it. So that's all that matters. All right, Billy, we're going to get back to the ball game now. Thank you for coming by and talking to us and wish you the best. Come by and see us anytime you're here. I will do that. Thank you, Donnie. Eastern View back within 10, 35-25. Minor. Into the middle. And a foul is going to be called. Nope, traveling is going to be called on James Monroe. As the Jackets turn the ball over one more time. Eastern View getting some opportunities, but they just haven't been able to capitalize on a lot of them. Seymour outside. Uh, you, you were speaking of it earlier, Donnie, the first four, five, six minutes of the third quarter. It's very important right now. Oh, nice play in there by Clancy. 35 to 27, East of you back within eight. They need a stop here, Donnie. They need a stop. Minor. Takes Cam Roy and Cam's a three. This kid is tough. He sat out most of the first half, but he's back to stay now. And from the other side, Robinson gets a three, and it's 38 to 30. James Monroe leading, and we will pause with timeout for 30 seconds on the Culpeper Media Network. 
Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. Found and Sons, 825-3530. Localsportshistory.com. Learn more at info at localsportshistory.com. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. New Pathways Career and Technical Education, 423-2134. 38-30 Eastern View, trailing James Monroe, Battlefield District Championship game from James Monroe High School. Gary Neal is sitting here waving at someone in the stands across the way, and I would bet you anything that's your grandson. Yep, my five-year-old grandson, yes. He's here with my son, Max. And, uh, you know, Max played with uh, Coach Patrick Thornhill. And uh, they had a good team back then, Donnie. They, they rarely, uh, and, and actually Max played for Billy Thornhill, uh, who was here a few minutes ago in uh, his sophomore year. He had a good year. They had a good team with Daryl Poole and Jamal uh, Williams. And uh, never forget those days. Steele. And Cam Roy misses the shot. And we got a jump ball call as Clancy came in there and the arrow is pointing in the direction of Eastern View so the Cyclones get a break here as Patrick Thornhill sets up the play and it comes to Roy baseline and a nice play there by Butler I think he, like you said he could do that all night yeah I agree Donnie I think they need to look for him uh, more inside and he needs to get a little more physical and demand the ball a little bit more. I like to see him, I think, by next year, or senior year, his junior year, next year, and his senior year, I think he'll be doing that. Well, Eastern View headed down to six, but that basket extends James Monroe's lead to eight. And we've got a foul called. There's nothing wrong with someone having confidence to demand the ball, Donnie, on offense. That shows leadership, in my opinion. If you're good enough, and your teammates will respect you if you ask for the ball. You don't have to demand it, but you need to ask for it, not politely, but firm and forcefully. Well, you got to, you got to follow through when you get it too. You have to, yes. You got to yep. be good enough. And then your teammates have confidence in you. Yes. Seawador knocked out of bounds, and they say it was knocked out by Will Butler, and the ball goes back to JL. 40-32, our score, 3.32 to go in the third period. Minor in the quarter. Deshaun Robinson all the way across court. Minor stops, wheels, fires, no good. Rebound, Butler. Seawador all the way. Off the glass and the basket and the chance for a three-point play. I tell you, Josh Sewardor, since the last time I've seen him play, Donnie, he has really improved. We didn't see him play against Caroline. He was out. But since from last year, he's really improved a lot. It's nice to see. All right, he can cut the JM lead to five, and he does. 40 to 35, Eastern View coming back for the Battlefield District Championship. Robinson, no good, rebound comes down Butler. It's five rebounds for uh, Butler tonight. Ah. Ah. Didn't get that one to fall. And foul at the other end. Two thirty-six to go, third period. Eastern View trailing by five, have trailed the entire night. T Ford at the line for JM hits the first one. Well, Billy said it would be important to get it down to four or five by the end of the third quarter. And right now, we, you know, we've got it down to five. It's six now, but um, I 
And T. Ford gets the second shot to rattle home. Seven point lead for JM, 2.30 to go. Robinson, for three! 42 to 38, down to a four point lead. Miner, in the corner shot, no good. Rebound, T. Ford, no good. Rebound, Culpepper, or Eastern View. And three <laughs> by Amari Robinson. And suddenly it's a one point game. 2.04 to go. 42 41. James Monroe with Eastern View on their heels. We got timeout and we will pause for 30 seconds on the Culpepper Media Network. Able Heating and Air. 718-7556. Found in Sons, 825-3530. Localsportshistory.com. Learn more at info at localsportshistory.com. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. New Pathways Career and Technical Education, 423-2134. Several times in that first half, Eastern View on the verge of getting blown out, lead, trailing by 11 points, and now all of a sudden they've cut the lead to one and a big possession here. Miner lost it. Oh! What are they going to call? Got to be a jump ball. Jump ball, and the error is pointing in the direction of JM. Good hustle by Hall there. He was scrambling like a football player after a fumble. Miner in the corner. Robinson can't get it to go. Amari Robinson comes down with a rebound. See what our teardrop won't go. Got his own rebound. Outside Robinson for three. Short. Just rush, can't get over the hump. Rush that a little bit. Miner can't get it to fall. Hall comes down with a rebound. I can see him uh, have some ball movement here and work the ball and be patient and get a good shot here. Wouldn't mind seeing a uh, hole down in that low block going to him uh, with a post up. Well, Hull didn't want to take that one. That was a lot of his range. Sevador, under a minute. Forward for three, and Eastern View takes the lead 44 to 42. Cam Roy needs to get going. He, he, can, he can light it up if he gets hot. And him between him and Amare. Robinson, Deshaun Robinson. Cross court. Minor. He got it. The three. JM back on top by one. We got us a ball game deal. Yes, we do. Sewador, Kim Roy, Sewador with five seconds. Sewador turns and puts it up and gets it off the glass. And as the third quarter comes to an end, the Eastern View Cyclones lead the James Monroe Yellow Jackets by a score of 46 to 45. We will be back in one minute. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Found in Sons Funeral Home, Culpepper's perpetual best of the best for resources, planning, and support for our entire community. Localsportshistory.com wants your 2023 annual nominations for Coach of the Year, Player of the Year, and Hall of Fame. Visit Localsportshistory.com to submit your choices. Battlefield Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford, proudly serving the Culpeper community for over 20 years. State-of-the-art service departments and over 22 acres with hundreds of new and pre-owned vehicles. Battlefield Automotive, 
Searching for a promising career? Train to be a certified, always in demand machinist at New Pathways Tech, located at the Carver Center on Route 15. Take a new pathway to success at newpathwaystech.com. Well, we were about to uh, spit on the fire and call the dog and get out of here. All of a sudden, Eastern View is on top. First half, they played terrible, and now all of a sudden, they're playing like a like the Boston Celtics in their prime. Difference in hitting those threes, Donnie. The shooters are shooting now for Eastern View. Robinson can't get it to go. Follow up by Butler. Butler. Rebound and two. That's six rebounds for Will Butler. 48-45, three-point lead. Miner can't get it to go, and Butler's going to be charged for a foul over the back. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't block out there. Lost position. Got to get that position on the defensive end. And Butler is, uh, you know, he's saying, I didn't, I, I didn't foul him. I came, went straight up over his back. But they're going to call that every time. Way out front, Deshaun Robinson for JM. Stops, fires. Oh. And little fadeaway goes in. Yeah, that was a very fortunate roll there. Well, you know what I'd say, it's better to be lucky than good. <laughs> ah, that was a good call there by the officials. That ball was batted out of bounds by James Monroe. So Eastern View will keep it. Cyclones with a one-point lead, 7-14 to go, final period. I'd like to see Cam Roy get up and get a shot. I believe he he can get on here. They might put, put up a lot of attention on Amare. And they call Roy for an offensive foul. Seven oh six to go. Well, East View won uh, the semifinal game. Monday night by one point. Can they do it again? And now Cimador will go out of the ball game and uh, check again for Eastern View is Alex Ayanku. Ford gets it in low to Edwards. No. Oh, the rebound. They are not blocking out. And uh, you got to block out down the area. They've allowed too many offensive rebounds tonight. That's one thing that's hurt them. Michael Edwards at the line for JM. And my voice is failing me. Got the first one. We're tied at 48. been fighting the virus for three weeks. Finally getting a little better, but this may do it for my voice, 49, 48. That, that excitement will do it to you, Donnie. Oh, man, and this is a good one. Clancy over to Cam Roy. We'd rather have the virus than you have a heart attack and getting all excited. We don't want to see that. <laughs> oh, did you see Robinson with that <laughs> underhanded shot? 50 all. I'd say the chances of us winning are 50-50. What do you say? Uh, same as the score. Minor. Oh, that's too easy. Yep, little teardrop there. JM pulled all their people to the left side and gave Minor the right side one-on-one. -on -one. 52-50 JM. Robinson, oh, that's, oh, that's an good. offensive foul. That was pretty obvious. They allow, right. they allow some of that in NBA, Donnie, but not in high school and college. No, that, he threw an elbow into him. There was no question about that one. Mari trying to do a little too much right now. I think, you know, he was playing better 
when he was letting the game come to him more and getting that open three-pointer. So right. I think he'll go back to that style of play here for the next several minutes. The official is over the game, over the uh, score table, and I'm not sure what's going on here. But, uh, you know, if this was college ball, I would say they're going to check see if it's a flagrant foul. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's the case here. Hey, while we have some time, how about uh, Syracuse over North Carolina with our Culpepper man, Malik Brown, playing very, very well, Donnie. Hey, everybody's starting to notice Malik now. I think I, Culpepper was mentioned at least twice last yes. night. Yes. So he's bringing some Culpepper notoriety, and then I was listening to one of the guys from ESPN, and he's talking about the NBA is starting to look yes. at Malik, who is only a sophomore, he, I love the way he plays. He's not a showboat. He, he's a very business-like man, and he does his job very well, whatever it is at the time. He, he plays his role. He plays that Draymond, Draymond Green role, the Dennis Rodman role, you know, rebounding, stick backs, set and picks, uh, assists. He, he does it all. He's got really good hands on defense. And uh, I think he's going to really improve over the next two years as well on, on scoring. Apparently what they did, and they talked to both coaches here, apparently they felt the game was getting a little bit out of hand with a couple of offensive fouls. And uh, Miner could have been called for an offensive foul right there with a little bit of a push, but instead... It goes against Eastern View, and Miner hits the first shot. 53-50. And we got a buzzer here. What's going on now? Patrick Thornhill has a question. They have not put up Miner's free throw. Still 52-50 JM, 5.53 to go. Now another official comes over. Well, they're, they're, they're ruining the tempo of the game. I'm not sure what they're doing, but it should not be about the officials. Uh, the game was going long, uh, and now they're, they're kind of taking it over, and I don't like seeing that. Well, Patrick, uh, I don't know whether it was a question of how many fouls there are on uh, somebody or what. J.M. is staying on the floor. Patrick has brought his team over to talk things over. We've had a couple of uh, offensive fouls, one on either team, uh, during this ball game that uh, elbows and shoving, and I'm sure the officials don't want that to get out of hand. There was some of that going on in uh, the last cup every game we did, and that ended up, I was told, in a little altercation between two of the players on opposing teams after the game was over. So you got to be really careful. Yeah, we don't want any parking lot altercations uh, for high school sports, that's for sure. And that, that has happened in the past, and uh, it, it's not a good look. Well, I remember one J.M. Culpepper game where uh, I almost got ran over the table during the game. All right, Spe especially on Valentine's Day, Donnie. Absolutely. And you didn't bring me a card, and you didn't send me flowers, and I told you earlier that I was disappointed. But the candy you sent me was so sweet. <laughs> All right, we are back. And they did not put the point up. Now, I don't know whether they're going to, what the deal is here. Now yeah, they put it up. That's 13 for Mikael Miner. And he only had four and a half. Yes. And he has not committed a foul here in the third period. He had uh, two right after the first period ended. And he is two for two, and it's a four-point lead for J.M. It's a big possession here for Eastern View, I believe. They need to get a good shot. I'd like to see Will Butler in the game right now, but he's not in there. 
Amari Robinson. And it's important right here that, you know, with all this going on or whatever's going on out there, that these guys don't try to take over the game one-on-one. -on -one. Nice pass there. Robinson, ooh, if he'd have got that one. Paul oh, is, ooh. And that wasn't anything intentional. That was just Hull lost his balance. I like Hull, I mean, He hustles. He, he's a big body in there. He's hard to stop. And uh, I'd be, for next year, I'd be trying to get him that ball and working on that this summer. And uh, I think he could be really unstoppable down low. And he makes that free throw, 54-51. Three-point lead now for J.M. Hull can cut it to a basket. He's very physical. Let's get physical, <laughs> physical. And now we have another timeout. This has been a quarter of timeouts. 5.21 to go, 54-52. JM back in 30 seconds. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. Found and Sons, 825-3530. Localsportshistory.com. Learn more at info at localsportshistory.com. Battlefield Automotive, 547-3673. New Pathways Career and Technical Education, 423-2134. Well, we got a nail by the Gary Deal coming down to the end, 54-52. Uh, he should be actually had the lead a little while ago after trailing by 11 points several times in the first half. Yeah, now's the time where if you're on the floor, you have got to hustle and you've got to go after those 50-50 balls, the rebounds, go to the hoop and get those rebounds whether it's on the defensive end or the offensive end, and really hustle and lay it all out on the line because now, now is the time to get it done. Miner gets through the double team, and from the quarter, T4 tees it up. Can't give them open shots. 57-52, J.M. Robinson for three. Another open T shot. forward for three more. That's just bad defense there. Well, that timeout hurtly hurt felt east of you. And now Patrick Thornhill wants timeout again. We will keep it here this time. Uh, 4.46 to go, 60-52. It was a two-point. JM lead about uh, 30 seconds ago, and now all of a sudden it's an eight-point lead. Yeah, and, and it's, it's the difference is <laughs> Jackets are getting open shots from three, and uh, Eastern View is not getting open shots, and James Monroe is extending their defense and not allowing three-point shots. And uh, uh, hopefully Eastern View can, can uh, remedy the situation. Well, they've only got... Uh, a few minutes to do it. It's been a great ball game, especially here in the second half. First half was all JM, but Eastern View has come alive in the third quarter and actually put on some real pressure here early in the fourth quarter and now down by eight. But you still got to get them one basket at a time. You can't try to get a six-point shot. Yeah, Will Butler and Seawardor was on the bench for quite a while. I'm hoping that doesn't come back and haunt Patrick. Um, I, I think they were in foul trouble. Uh, that's the reason they were on the bench. I'm not sure, but uh, they're in there now. So let's see if we can uh, get a few baskets and play a little defense. Clancy turns and fires. Off the glass, no good. Oh, puts it in. 60-54, down to a six-point lead for J.M. I like this five that's on the, on the court now for Eastern View. Deshaun Robinson out front in no hurry. Almost a steal by Hull. Oh, good Off pass. Off to Robinson. Great 
move there by Hull. He knew he was not a guard, and he got it to a guard. That was the best play Hull's made all night, and a lot of, a lot of players wouldn't have made that play. That was beautiful. Minor. Oh, this kid could play the game. 62 to 56. Under four minutes now left in the game. Championship game of the Battlefield District Tournament. Sevador. Clancy wheeling, Clancy turning, Clancy scoring. 62 to 58, back to within four is Eastern View. Excellent shot by Clancy there. He had some elevation on that shot too, Donnie. He looked good on that shot. Minor. It's too easy. Yeah, he just peeled through there without yeah. any problem at all. They're not blocking that middle off on him. And there's Robinson, uh, and he concentrated too much on trying to draw the foul and miss the shot. We've talked about that before, Donnie. you got to finish the shot. You can't. I know everybody wants to lay that shoulder in. They're taught that to try to draw the foul. At least you go to the line. But when you got a chance to finish that shot, you got to finish the shot, and don't worry about a trying to draw the foul. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. Got that one. 64-59. 16 points for Amari right now. Three fifteen to go, and a four-point lead for J.F. Well, the folks, and there's a good crowd here tonight, they got their money's worth, or getting their money's worth, let's put it that way. Let's see it go to the wire. And East of you come out on top. Good day. Steal inside by Clancy. No good. Got to, he maybe should have held that up, got some help down there. And a foul underneath. I'm not sure whether that was Hull or Clancy, but somebody got in there and stopped that two-pointer. Well, what I'd like to have seen Clancy do on that last play, Donnie, is, is keep his dribble alive and go in and make a couple moves and use his athletic ability to just to go right, rise right up against those guys and lay it in. <laughs> He's good enough to do that. And uh, I think he kind of... Uh, had an open shot off balance a little bit, and he settled for that. But he could have made a much better inside move to finish with his athletic ability. Jeremiah Branson missed the first one. All these free throws, everything is big now with 241 left. Missed them both. Butler comes down with the ball. Amari Robinson setting up. Robinson driving. Seawador, got it! 64-62, a two-point lead for JM. 19 for Seawador. His best game of the season, I'm sure. Minor. It's too easy. But he missed it. Ah. Offensive rebounds. And Robinson missed Another it. Another rebound. Robinson that again. Hustle. But one out of three. You give them three, and they're going to make it. They're getting out hustled. You got to block out. And we got a foul, too. We'll send Deshaun Robinson to the line. 66-62, four-point lead. Robinson can make it five. 2.04 left in this ball game. Battlefield District Championship. Eastern View. And James Monroe. I'd like to see Will Butler get a little more physical in there. Here's another rebound. Stop blocking out. And Good a steal, nice though. play there by Seawador with the hands. Robinson for three. No. J.M. comes down with a loose ball, and a foul is going to be called on Clancy. That was a good shot by Amari Robinson. Just, he just didn't sink it. It's uh, clutch time. We want to see him sink some of these shots at clutch time. Well, all those easy shots underneath that they missed in the first half are coming back to haunt them now. 
Michael Edwards gets the first one, 67-62. 153 left. Got them both, 68-62. Kim Roy coming back into the ball game. Clancy will go out. <coughs> Win or lose, uh, Easterview will move on to the regionals on Monday. And we'll keep you informed on that here on the station. Cam Roy, nope. And all of a sudden, Easterview has gotten cold from the outside. And there goes Miner. Nice play there by Butler. And JM will call timeout. 128 left to the ball game, 68-62. JM leads Eastern View, and we will pause for 30 seconds. Able Heating and Air, 718-7556. Found and Sons, 825-3530. Localsportshistory.com. Learn more at info at localsportshistory.com. Battlefield Automotive, 547 3673. New Pathways Career and Technical Education, 423 2134. Well, we're down to the final stages of this ball game, and uh, it's been a good one, Gary Deal. Yeah, and I think uh, ECB is going to have to start fouling and uh, making. I wouldn't foul. Automatically, uh, especially don't want to foul Minor and Edwards, and really not even Timothy Ford. Uh, but the other two, uh, I'm, I want to foul if the ball is in their hands. But I want to try to get a steal instead of just fouling uh, on purpose uh, without trying to get the steal. So let's see what they do here. Well, a minute 28 is a long time, or it can be a long time, can be a short time. But uh, Eastern View. Guarding the inbounds now. And Miner's going to handle this ball. The I want to foul him. The freshman. It's five seconds. you got to call five seconds, ref. And he does call five seconds, and the ball turns over to Eastern View. And I was going to say, usually you don't have a freshman handle the ball in, in a crucial situation. And that's one thing that, that was a freshman mistake right there. And, and he thought he was going to get fouled, Donnie, automatically. See what door this is. Just another the easy one, yeah. From the corner, three point shot, no good. Rebound, Hull, and he is fouled. That's another mistake for James Monroe, is shooting that ball up six points with a minute to go. I want to run some clock there. I know you may not want to, but oh, I, oh this in this situation, absolutely. Yes, you don't want to put Eastern View at the line with the clock stopped. Uh, but they're not going to the line. They're not in the uh, bonus yet. But and that's where we don't have that one and one. Pass. Oh, missed it. Got it back. Put it up. No, and he is foul. Hull has taken over. He's done a whale of a job in this second half tonight. And once he learns how to finish a little bit better with a little softer touch, he's going to be uh, a demon inside. I don't think he has a soft touch. He'll, he's going to learn that, I believe. He's a rough and tumble <laughs> basketball player. He's, he's going to be a next Charles Barkley. Not making those foul shots. Uh, well, he made two out of two earlier. Yeah. And that's when we need him, though. He's huffing and puffing, too. You see him there? He's, they, these guys have been doing some running. It's both of oh, them. That's, that's a good miss. Amari Robinson is fouled from behind. So with a clock stop, East of you. Two, two shots here, Don. We'll get two shots. That was a good miss by a hole on that. Couldn't have been any better. Hit the back of the iron and bounced out to Amari. 49.5 seconds left in the ball game. Six point lead for JM. And a five point lead. I'd like to see uh, him make this and then uh, maybe Thornhill call a timeout and go into a press. Well, I'm sure they probably will press. They got a, 
They can't let any time run off this clock. Let's see if he calls a timeout. Oh, he missed it. Missed it. Hull had it, and he traveled. He's trying to call a timeout. And Josh Simador goes over. He thought that Hull's emotions were going to run away with him, and he said, hey, calm down, calm down. Good substitution here uh, for the press. I like this. Minor. And he is fouled from behind by Seawidor. That may be his fifth. I think Minor sold that. I mean, I don't believe the referee saw a trip there, but he speculated that it was a trip. And Seawidor. No, apparently that's his fourth. I'm not sure. It would, they haven't shown it up on the scoreboard yet. Butler coming in. And Seawidor is apparently out with five fouls. Minor at the line. How many does Minor have tonight? Minor has uh, 18. 18, and he had four in the first half, and now he has 19. If he makes this, he will be four short of his season average of 24. Got it. 20 points for Mikhail Miner. Need a Whoa. quick, need a quick three here. Robinson yeah. off the front iron. And a foul is going to be called on Butler. Oh, no, it was uh, Clancy. And that, my man, may well have done it. Yeah, it was a valiant effort. And uh, James Monroe just basically shot the ball a little bit better tonight. And Miner was able to penetrate the lane uh, in the clutch to get uh, some easy shots that uh, kind of sealed the deal. Edwards, first shot is in, second shot coming. We have the thundering herd pass in front of us here. We hope we can see it. Second shot by Edwards is good. Now it's an eight point lead. Robinson all the way off the glass, nope. Hull, foul going up. Nine point lead for JM. You know, I think just like that last shot there, Amari missed. That was a layup, basically. He made a good move on the baseline, wide open. If they had made their easy shots inside, Donnie, it was like you were saying earlier. This game would be tied or the Cyclones would be up right now. They missed a lot of easy shots inside tonight. Yep. Well, and, and if you're close at the end, if you're ahead, you don't play the same way, so that it affects the score, too. Knocked out of bounds. It's going to belong to James Monroe. 23.4 seconds. It's all over now but the quiet. But then I don't think Eastern View is going to cry because they have played their hearts out tonight. Miner just dribbles around. Patrick Thornhill will concede victory, a, a loss. And the ball, he Miner threw the ball up into the rafters and hit the rafters with 2.3 seconds left. And the official says, it ain't over because it hit the rafters and we're still going to play on. Again, Donnie, like you said, freshman. A freshman mistake. And that's it. 72 to 63, the final score. JM wins the game and wins the Battlefield District Tournament. And we will be back with our post-game show in just two minutes.
on the Culpepper Media Network. Able Heating and Air, answering any and all questions you may have about your HVAC system. There's peace of mind knowing they are able to keep your home comfortable. Found in Sun's Funeral Home, Culpepper's perpetual best of the best for resources, planning, and support for our entire community. Localsportshistory.com wants your 2023 annual nominations for Coach of the Year, Player of the Year, and Hall of Fame. Visit Localsportshistory.com to submit your choices. Battlefield Toyota, Chevrolet, and Ford, proudly serving the Culpeper community for over 20 years. State-of-the-art service departments and over 22 acres with hundreds of new and pre-owned vehicles. Battlefield Automotive, searching for a promising career, trained to be a certified, always in demand, machinist at New Pathways Tech located at the Carver Center on Route 15. Take a new pathway to success at newpathwaystech.com. 72 to 63, our final score. The Eastern View High School Cyclones uh, fall to the James Monroe Yellow Jackets. Heck of a ball game, Gary Deal. It was a heck of a ball game, Donnie. Both teams played their hearts out. Uh, and it came down to the best player on the court, I believe, uh, getting easy shots in clutch time, minor, uh, driving the lane and just making sure, validating uh, his shot to make sure that they won the game. Well, it was uh, Eastern View trailing by 11 points in the first half. And, you know, we just about gave up on things then. They were about ready to get blown out. We thought... All of a sudden, there in the third quarter, and early in the fourth quarter, Cyclones come back and actually take the lead. They had a four-point lead at one time, and uh, but they just couldn't hold it. Right. And Eastern View played hard to get back into the game. Like you said, they were down 8, 10, 11, 12 points the whole game. They came back. Uh, Amari Robinson hit several three-pointers. Cam Roy hit one. Uh, Jace Clancy came through on a couple shots. And so did Hall, and uh, that got him back in the game. Uh, but then again, they gave up too many offensive rebounds on the defensive end, and uh, Miner kind of had his way inside. Well, in my opinion, the game was lost in the first half. They missed so many easy shots yes. underneath. They did not finish. And when Miner went to the bench with four fouls, they failed to capitalize. They could not, with with him out yes. and only scoring four points in the first half, you would have thought that Eastern View would have, you know, maybe been up by six or eight. They could they could not capitalize there and uh, some lost opportunities, but that's the way it is in basketball. <laughs> this is high school basketball with high school yes. kids. Yes. All right, who scored what here tonight? Okay, for uh, Eastern View, uh, they were led by Josh Sewardor. He had 19. And that has got probably a career high for him. Yes, he played really well. I was impressed with him tonight. Uh, he's, I believe he's going to have a good year next year. Uh, Amari Robinson had 18. And then for uh, uh, James Monroe, uh, Timothy Ford had 17. Michael Edwards had 12. And uh, Mikael Miner had 20. And uh, Miner with a 24-point average, uh, he was the difference in the ball game. All right. We're still not finished with basketball because <laughs> the Culpeper girls will play Friday night at Falk here. The Eastern View boys will play Monday at home against uh, a competitor yet to be determined. There's a playoff tonight for that. Yes. And um, I don't know when we're going to be on the air again, but hopefully we will be back with other basketball games before this season is over. And until we do, we will remind you that uh, you're watching Eastern View High School Basketball on the Culpeper Media Network and the final score of tonight's ball game, James Row 62 and Eastern View 63. And happy Valentine's Day to everybody, Donnie. All right. <laughs> 72-63, final score. We'll see you when we see you.